Good morning. Good morning. I'm behind. <laughs> really? So we are in the van. It's 9:30, and we already have close to 30 degrees in the car. And we are in the shadow. The, oh, actually, we're in the sun. Uh, yeah, halfway in the sun. So we are not gonna do um, Warsaw because we need to pay the parking. And plus we. Yeah, plus it's way too hard to just walk and as you saw yesterday, I'm just like getting faded so super easy So we're not gonna do we're gonna go to Chestova and then from Chestova to Katowice and from Katowice We're gonna go to the Holocaust museums The, Aus the yeah, Auschwitz, yeah, the Auschwitz Holocaust, Holocaust to the Auschwitz the because the biggest the main ones actually because it's like a part of the history that I really I'm interested in and that's like in my back at least to see those museums since because in school we did so many things about that and learned so much about it that is like I'm a bucket list to go and I'm so excited I know that sounds bad but it's just but it's history. super interesting yeah I want to learn more about it and I actually want to see things that I learned in the school to see actually how to, awful it exactly was. it sounds awful I know but if you have done it in school so hard and like so You've done intense, it in school so hard, so intense. I mean, the story about it. Learned it, yeah, not done it. Done. Because you sounded like you have done. <laughs> no. Uh, same exact thing. Sure. If you have studied about it, you want to know what you study about, and you want to actually see what you studied about. So I'm excited. So let's go. Let's get the car Cut started. Bit. Oh, hopefully it starts. Get it started. It was a bit confusing to get to ask for water because I was like showing like this for the van and he showed me outside he asked me diesel I was like no water and he showed me the wine I was like drink, we should just drink, use Google drink. translate more yeah just I know what so. the words are and he showed me the water hole outside and look how perfect it is it's just like it's perfect can you see that like how it's like perfect it's like a bit perfectly. more it could be a bit more here but I parked as well perfectly. Yeah, yeah, there was other parking. So let's get water because we have like two like, guys house, but there So we stopped at the gas station actually and they have also a hotel and we got food. And it was eight euros all of that. It's quite cheap. I mean the sausage would only be worth eight. <laughs> so because we thought that um, we might not find anything on the way. Like cheap and good because the job is like awesome. You actually cook them there and look how cool it looks. So we're gonna eat here and then go because we're not gonna eat anything all day till tonight. So I wanna be fully be fully belly. <laughs> Full belly. So let's enjoy. Let me try your sauce. That's a yogurt. My food literally is made <laughs> for three people I think. And and my food is like four euros only. Yeah, my first was also like 150. Four euros for a giant sausage. Giant. I don't know it was 50 cents. 50 cents for no, the salad? No, it was 150. Or 250. 250? Less than, no, that's less than 50 Wait. cents. No, the sausage is 150. 150. 550. So it's 50. So it's 550. one euro. The full plate. My potatoes are. I think one euro. No. And the sausage is like. Three yeah, one euro. Yeah. Insane. I'm those, full. We're not hungry. Are... We were not hungry, but we didn't want to risk another place. In other countries, that would be the actual price in euros. Uh, Here, that's in Zloty. That's eight euros only. Had an accident. <sighs> Look at that beautiful face. A little bit of a I was, issue here. Our, our gas was leaking and David wanted to fix it. So he told me, can you get the box, the toolbox? And the toolbox is under the seat. And I was pulling it and one hand fell off. So I was like, ah, oh, I can just like hook it up and just lift it up. And I was trying to pull it and I literally took it all with all my force and punched myself. I think I punched it with a plastic as well. Like, like how can I make those crutches? 
Yeah. I think it went with a plastic fully on top. I didn't punch her. Just no, you. it's just like my stupidity of laziness, not going with both hands, but on 35 degrees, you're kind of getting lazy. Yeah. So I was like, I can pull it like, you know, like that and just like lift it up. Clearly not, because I've done it before. But now it's like, now it's burning and bothering me a lot. And I have the feeling like it's big here. I don't know if it is. I cannot even see myself. <laughs> so I went to the store and took a can to put it on. And I was looking at me like I'm like the weirdest person. <laughs> I took an iced tea can, just put it on. But I don't know if it's gonna get blue or nothing. I've never been punched in the face or like whatever. Only on hands and legs, but not on face. So I don't know what's gonna turn. She gets blue spots really easily. So. I'm getting blue spots very easily. So this somehow. might be quite blue. Yeah, it was. It was a hard punch. It was hurting my whole head for quite a while. Even walking out, it was like I was pressing here because it was hurting so much. But yeah, accident happened. But I'm sweating so much. Let's go in the church. So we bought drinks to cool down, and uh, don't show that. That's bad. Mine is good. Mine is Sprite, and it's in a can. <laughs> I barfed and tickled my nose. So we bought cream uh, for burns, bumps, scratches, bites, whatever. That has blood. So we're, because we didn't have anything in the van as well. Like nothing we had. So we just bought that. I hope it gets better. I really hope it's not going to get blue or anything. Anything worse. So we bought something at least now in the van to, in case, like J David has a burn as well. So we can put it on the bubble first and stuff. So that's good. Very good of us. So let's go. There's a church up there. Or a monastery. Something is there. So let's go there. That's a beautiful say. <laughs> That's a beautiful building. It's a monastery church. We need to move away. Bobby, there are all of them back there. I don't know if you can see the sign back there, but it says no tank top. No food or drinks. No food, drinks, no shorts. And I'm everything. <laughs> Might even be a dog. You're like Look a dog. Look at my hair, it's like a dog anyway, so. <laughs> so I guess we're not going in there. Yeah, I'm not allowed. Ah, that's pretty beautiful. It's nice to look from outside. It's really cold there anyway. Yeah, it's very a lot of people going in. Safe city, right? Are you filming? Long time. Okay. So we went around the city, not much because it's very hot. We didn't went in the monastery because we're like both of us like not proper dressed. But as I can tell, I think that city is mainly for church and like monastery and religious purposes. But we came back and the window is fully open. I forgot it. Accidentally. And the radio is in there. I hope my phone is still under. I would say so. Yeah, her phone, phone is, is there, there and radio is available and camera is there, everything. The camera, the camera is there, laptop. Safe and city. then we said that about the other Germans being down there. Safe city for sure. Let's get in. Now we're gonna recommend it as safe, <laughs> safe, safe for dum dums. <laughs> so now we're gonna go to the Auschwitz. Yeah. We it's one and a half hour drive, roughly, but we wanna be there earlier just in case I don't know. And to ask, um, or just to stay in the AC inside. Hopefully. Hopefully there is. I would say so. It's okay. a museum inside. Let's, Let's go. go. It's a long drive. Yeah. Look at the temperature in the van. Look at my hand being all sweaty. I just rubbed my face and it's all sweaty. It dropped down a bit. It was on 45. It was on 45, yeah. It dropped down now. Oh my but that is insane. But my face hot. like leaking down and the cream that I put, oh my god, it's just like a mess. Just let drive, drive. Get the wind. Get the wind because we don't have AC.
have the next day and we arrived in Krakow yesterday night around 10, 10 30 and we parked in a nice park very nice but I remember that we forgot to end the vlog yesterday because after we came back from our switch we I went to shower and the mosquitoes just ate us and I was like so impressed from the museum not impressed but like it had such a big impact in me that I was so scared to go in most of the things because I don't know I had the feeling the people are still there, the souls and everything, so it was very hard for me and I actually I decided like not to talk about that topic anymore and just not bring it up but it was a great, great museum, we spent it three hours I think, right? We spent it three hours walking around only in Auschwitz 1 we haven't been to Auschwitz 2, which probably we're gonna do next year because now it's too and much and Auschwitz 3 as well Auschwitz 3, but the second one is like next, next to the 1, that's why, I don't know what the 3 is but it's a worth watching, like worth seeing place especially if you're under 26, it's for free and get your tickets online, we'll put the link down below get your tickets online because we skipped the whole ticket line because we had online, online reservation which is very important to get your tickets online and we skipped, I think we, we saved like an hour or something waiting on the line and then on the other ticket line so that was super fast, we were like in in like two minutes we skipped everything, which was super cool, but the museum, the way they disable it, they show everything, display everything, is super awesome. And there's um, the separate houses. So that's, it's a really cool place to see. Really recommend it. But if you're too getting easy impact from your stories and stuff, do not go. <laughs> but it's worth seeing. So that's it pretty much with today's vlog. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you tomorrow. Let's go In our next daily vlog. Bye bye.